Now, the first question is, uh, how were you chosen for the part of Sybil, and what were your first impressions of the part? I really don't know. Um, I think John Howard Davis suggested me, and I, I went along to see John in his flat, and he was in bed with flu, um, and I was sort of shown into the room, and he said, is there anything you want to ask me about the script? And I said, well, yeah, why did they ever get married? And he sort of put a pillow over his head and said, oh, God, I thought I was afraid you were going to ask that. Um, and he couldn't tell me. <laughs> but, of course, we talked about it. And um, I, I think it was probably, m may have been my idea that she should be a bit less posh than him because we couldn't see otherwise um, what, what, what would have attracted them to each other. And I, I think I, I, had a, I had a sort of vision of her her family being in catering on the south coast, you know, and her working behind a bar somewhere, and he being demobbed from his national service and getting his gratuity, you know, and going in for a drink and this really quite oopsy barmaid behind the bar, and she fancied him because he was so posh. And um, they sort of thought they'd get married and run a hotel together, and it was all a bit sort of romantic and idealistic. And uh, the grim reality then caught up with them. That, that, was, that was the thought. Now, did you do much research for the role, and was Sybil based on any characters you knew in your own life? Um, not any one specific person, no. Um, I think all, 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 the, all the things you do, you, you use certain... you use certain um, bits from probably singularly inappropriate people that you've met during your life, and it, it, um, it blends into one. There was a, a woman who ran a hotel uh, that my parents stayed in once, and she used to lean over the chair and say, do you find that tasty, Major? And I think that was a sort of tune in my head, maybe.